Just to quickly check, make sure everything's working as it should. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Uh, change the audio up.
Okay. Go ahead and replay tutorial because I'm playing on the computer this time. We'll go with Dread for right now. I'm used to Nightmare Mode, but we'll go with Dread for right now. Just to make it a little bit easier, the learning curve for playing on PC. That's sweet right there. Alright, who do I want? <laughs> Chemistry and shooting. Go with the odd couple. I don't. Yeah. The woods Wait. Off on our own. Right. The woods were way better than an army base stock of food. Not a bad idea. Okay. So Z's the finish. Maybe that's why there's nobody here. Doesn't what look good hell? here, yeah. Where'd everybody go? Looks like they left in a hurry, too. That's kind of a weird, but okay. It's bad. There's no sign of the army. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I think in a zombie apocalypse, if there's ever, <laughs> you don't really want to stay at a Look large around. encampment. We should try to find you a better weapon. Too many people, large risk of infection, and because there's too many people, um, be a lot easier for someone who goes missing or gets sick to go unnoticed. I'll be doing the supportive lurk while I play ESL. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dragon. That that means the world to me. Lurking helps a lot. I hope you're alright, and I hope you do well in your game. In uh, Elder Scrolls this is Online. This the shittiest refugee camp I've ever seen. <laughs> but the poor bastards shambling around would agree if they weren't dead. Seriously, you need a better weapon. Ch 
So it looks like this might have been... That's a church area, I'm guessing. Just going through the last zone they added because I took a break from Elder Scrolls Online right after it came out. Oh, gotcha. I've been having some friends tell me about Elder Scrolls Online. I just never got it. Never saw the appeal of it, really. No retreat. The way I see here is... Check out these notes. You know, I'd write one for you if you got lost. Why am I the one who's going to get lost? Okay. You can write one for me then. Damn. Whatever. Thanks for fantasizing about me going MIA. Let's just keep moving. What probably happened here is like one person got infected, and that's that's really all you need for it to spiral out of control. Note from Searcher's Wall. The retreat is wrong. We took an oath to protect these people. We cannot abandon them in their hour of need. Join our cause. Save our nation. We are Red Talon. Some more shit. Nice. We are Red Talon. Army strong. Oh, hello. I heard I heard a deadhead. Where are you? I think you are. Oh, there's quite a bit ahead then. That's one. Convinced Ether and her friend Danny to play too. Nice. I've never really been a big fan of like MMOs because it just kind of seems like. Well, then I haven't played an MMO since like Guild Wars, like the OG one. Um, but it seems like, you know, um, a vast majority of the content is more focused on the multiplayer than the gameplay actually being engaging, which kind of sucks. The hell is this place? The last stand for bureaucracy? Stand and fight. Okay, I'm gonna close this door. This place is creepy. Seems like we're safer now. We should grab what we can keep moving. Can't help but want... Can't help wondering what happened to everyone I hear here. You. Okay, so let's go ahead and sweep and make sure there's no zombies. Nope, nothing here. Doors closed behind us. Okay. Shut tight. Hey, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Just like the muerto we saw outside the gate. Ah, damn it! It bit me. I hate that. Yeah, we both had worse. Oh. Should I open that door? You kind of. Oh. Damn. That's a lot of them. That'd be a lot of running around in order to take them on. Hey, no, Ella, close. Thank you. How are you feeling? We should have found more people in here by now, right? I'm not trying yeah. to think about that. Keep the door closed. Thank you. Yes, is a bit different from typical MMOs. I like it because Elder Scrolls lore. It had a nice RP community. It had a nice roleplay community? That's rare. You don't usually see that in MMOs. 
Where did that zombie come from? Ooh, these guys have been dead for a long, long time. So the, whatever camp was here, it's been overrun for a very, very long time. We're just going to go ahead and make some extra barriers from us and those. Okay, well, we, we can't close that door for some reason. You do see a lot of RP and MMOs depending on the social system in the game. Really? I would have played more MMOs if that was the case. Role playing is fun. Uh, Camp Osprey Civilian Guidelines. No firearms, vandalism, or unruly behavior. No loud noises after sundown. Unauthorized supplies will be confiscated. No use of facilities on non-designated hygiene days. Hygiene days? Remain within your assigned habitation sector at all times. Evacuees, wait, evacuees may not leave camp without authorization from civilian control office. Report any illness or death immediately. They set more rules in fucking high school. That's probably what happened. Nobody, somebody, somebody didn't report a death or illness, and that's Shit. what happened. This bite is really itching. I'm sorry. I'll be faster next time. Yeah, sure. All right, I think we should probably go with a stealth option. Dios mío, the fuck is all this? Oh, shit. Okay, let me deal with the zombies here. Okay. Oh. I am B Greens. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Shadow Army. How are you? Um. I'd say you join us, but I know you have limited funds. Yeah, I have very limited funds. <laughs> I'm not that new to the game. But I am always looking for more advice. I just downloaded it because I have it for my console and I just downloaded it on my Xbox. So I'm pretty much relearning the controls all over again. Um, and I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm trying to slowly build my way up to lethal zone. I'm a vet, I can be useful. Any and all tips would be greatly appreciated. Because... Majority of the time, like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I play Xbox. Same, same. I played this on my on my on my console, which is what allowed on my Xbox, which is what allowed me to download this on my PC, because the what was it Microsoft Play Anywhere or Xbox Play Anywhere? I really wish you could loot more stuff from here. Like, it seems like there's a lot of stuff. But anyways, uh, looking at like what's happened here. So maybe it's not like someone didn't report a sickness or death. It literally looks like a, gi a giant accident happened here with some trucks that ran this gate and then caused like an outbreak type of situation. I feel like I'm burning up. Seriously, this is bad. I'm out of meds, but I'll find you something. Don't worry. I may, I may add you later, uh, Greens, but right now, I'm just kind of focusing on uh, the stream. I'm on my computer right now. <laughs> okay, so she's not looking so hot right now. Uh, machete. Better chance to dismember. I'll take that. Just for right now. I know knockdown might be key. But Green, how are you? How are you today, Greens? I hope you're doing well. All right, we got this more. This is useful, but I won't do anything for that fever. Feel kind of dizzy. 
We should find some place uh -huh. safe in here to rest. Didn't we just leave this party? We can make it. Just Eric quiet. crouched a stealth. Okay, well. It's not telling me this the stealth button, so I'm pretty sure it's C though. That's what I've been using. It's like I have to hold C. I'm glad to hear you're doing good. trucks left days ago my girl heard the army ran these camps where is everybody orders came in to close these camps down and move on no more army my man not here just a few Pug. of us dumb enough to stay behind hello how are you only me and the doc survive hey not an exaggeration my brain is on fire oh shit tell me what bitter was this real nasty fucker all covered in blood What's wrong? This is bad, real bad. You need serious help. Oh Doc boy. should still be down at the S and B. Tell her I sent you. Glad to help. All right, Ella. Let's talk this doctor knows. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Oh, there's Bob Wire over here. All the that's a continuity area right there. All the zombies that are gone there now. Rip. Okay, how do I? Safely, okay. But how are you, Pug? It's been a hot minute. I haven't seen you, well, stream in a while, but maybe because we live in different time zones. Ooh, there's a fair amount of them out there. Yikes. Where did you two come from? I thought civilians had been gone for days. You should. I would recommend Stay at Okay. I recommend the first one. It's more story. This one is like. has ambient story, but it's more focused on the gameplay. And I'm pretty sure they're still releasing updates for this game. Good and bad, but it is what it is. Got my new keyboard yesterday, so I'm pretty happy since tomorrow's my birthday. Happy birthday! Or happy early birthday. Are you a doctor? The soldier back there sent us to find you. Confirm. Still trying to be. Was your friend bitten? That's my girl. It was a zombie with blood on the outside. I'm so sorry. You should come with me. Oh boy. Why are you apologizing? Oh god. That's what bit me. One of those things. It's called blood plague. It's very contagious and it doesn't take long to do its job. What do you mean? That's gonna happen to me? Not as long as I'm around. Hey, I could use your help. Okay, let's talk to Ella a little bit. Let's what this doctor knows how to fix me. Okay, okay. It's the same thing. Take your flashlight, go in there and look for a sample case. I need you to bring it to me. Alright. Oh my, look at all these body bags. Before I lost my team, we were learning all we could about blood plague. We developed a cure. But it only works if you My greatest fear if like any of those body bags the started moving. Lab when they left, but they didn't get everything. All right, we found four of those. It? No cure. Not good. I'll need an infirmary to culture a new dose. Hey doc, it's checkout time. Fucking Zeds are swarming the perimeter. Plague zombies too. I know you want to save Amari, but it's not for us to bounce. Amari? Amari's the reason we have a treatment. Exactly. Don't let that legacy die here. Who's Amari? Other survivors are gonna need your help. Like her. Okay. But I can't just leave. Not like this. Do what you need to. But make it fast. 
I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I'm going to save your girlfriend if I can. Because no one deserves what happened to Amari. Is that Amari? But I don't have the strength to end things. It's like you play MMORPGs? Um, I played some. I don't really play it oh, anymore. Um, I think the last MMORPG that I seriously played. I gave Guild Wars 2 a shot, but I was kind of bored with it. Um actually wouldn't really be able to play together because time zone's whack. Have you been though? I've been alright. I've been on and off. I've been trying to uh, look for a job because I graduated from my college in December. And I've been having no luck with that. So I've just been kind of like depressed and this is literally the <laughs> in in the last like two years maybe this is the only place that I made money so it was just yeah kind of rough but I'm doing all right I'm trying to trying to hang in there trying to gather my strength and see if I could just pick up and go somewhere with this um just talking about ESL yes you were please take this gun do what I can't understood Execute the cage zombie with a headshot. I'm guessing you're Dr. Amari. Dr. Amari, by the power invested in me as a plague doctor, one that has seen the worst in this world, I give you peace. Perdon me. May God watch over you. It's time to leave. Okay, we can't go out that way. We go out this way. I know I have a hard time letting people take care of me. For what it's worth, I'm glad we're together. Don't worry. I ain't doing the apocalypse without you. Thanks for sticking with me. As soon as we find a place to settle down, we'll get you help I'm again. Down. Thank you for doing what I couldn't. I'm riding shotgun. I hope your driving is good. I heard about a place we can try. Hopefully it's still safe. Understood. I grabbed some supplies. We should leave before the camp is overrun. Thanks for helping us, Doc. Sure thing. Alright. Can I talk can I talk to uh not Sunny? Go on. Let it all out. I don't wanna to talk to Sunny, I wanna to talk to Oh, I can't talk to the soldier dude? I guess I can. Alright. I guess it's just gonna... No more army, huh? So, how do we survive now? Hey, come on. As long as we're together, we can make it through anything. So wouldn't let me choose where to go, which is interesting. It sounds like we're empty again. We better be close. Start playing Guild this Wars. Is the place. Two. Pull up here. Or is it having me pull up? This should be safe. Uh, oh, here? At least for a while. Interesting. It's rustic, but it has what I need to get started. That sounds good. Hey, girl, you still doing okay there? Don't call me that. <clears throat> no, I feel like shit. Dang. This is cool. Not surprised. Oh, Your condition oh, is advancing. Crap. You need to go to the infirmary. Uh, infirmary, got it. But somebody better come up with an actual plan. Press E to be stabilized. Keep blood plague victims in your infirmary to halt progress of the disease. If you can bring them the cure, you can use it to save their lives. If you can't, you may need to kill them to prevent the plague from spreading. Understandable. Okay, let me catch up. Uh. 
Never played Elder Scrolls Online. A friend of mine gave me a Steam account to play Elder Scrolls Online, though. I forgot it, though, and I forgot what friend it was, because I haven't talked to him in a long time, but I don't think I would enjoy ESO. Started playing Guild Wars 2 today, and it's quite fun, not gonna lie. But, Guild Wars 2 is fun. I just got bored of it, kind of. I saw gameplay of it. My friend showed me not my kind of game. ZT slash SA. Oops. Macros. This looks beaming. It's pretty similar to Guild Wars 2. Just not into it. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's like, you know, MMORPGs may have, like, similar con concepts or designs, but they're just not... Uh, we'll go with Brewski. Time to get some beauty rest. Or even just rest. I'm not picky. You know how to cure this, right, Doc? Please. This isn't as good as having the actual cure, but I should be able to keep her blood plague from getting worse for a while. Okay, let me open this supply locker and just... Out. That's bullshit. That. Relax, man. Nobody's dying today. Right, Doc? Not as long as we can find more plague samples and make the cure. The ones you found in my lab are good, but we need more. Well, shit, we can do that. I saw a good place to hunt for them on our way into town. Try the location where Slosen saw plague zombies. So we got a gun, and I don't really want to use it. Does this guy have a gun? How's it hanging? Access. He has a gun. Okay. I'll just give this gun to the doc then. So nice to see you. Oh, she has a gun too. So she automatically had a gun. All right. So we're starting off pretty solid. Guns are like one of the most important thing I remember. Go ahead and look at the map. Just not doing. Never played it, so it's so for me it's fun. They're just not your piece of cake, or whatever the metaphor is. Slice of cake. I think so. A uh, piece of cake is like something that's easy. Uh, it's just not your. I think this. No, I think what you're saying it's not your cup of tea. Okay, better check the trunk for a toolkit. Okay, so. SUV is fine, so we can deposit that. Parts are amazing. We can deposit that. Go ahead and get this like repaired, up and running. Yeah, I think I think the word is cup of tea. It's just not your cup of tea. Okay. Cars. Might as well unload some of this shit now. There we go. I should go out for a quick drive, just to make sure the repair job worked. Okay, it's working fine. That's a Gas relief. cans and toolkits keep it. walking all the yep. time. Yep. Yep. Cool. Driving is faster, safer, and lets me bring back a hell of a lot more supplies. It's also dangerous though, because noise attracts zombies. I don't know if light does either. The problem with the zombie apocalypse, or that, that works, yeah. I'm here. Oh. The problem with zombie apocalypses is like there's so many variables that could happen. Like, do they react to. How do they react? Do they re react versus, like, based on sight? So they would react to light? Do they react based on sound? Smell, maybe? In certain cases? I guess it's something. Is it like a rabies type virus, or is it like an actual type of, uh, something that actually, like, uh, what was that? The cordyceps one? Uh, the one that affects ants, and is spread by, like, it's basically like the, the Last of Us one. 
aim to enter survey mode. It's important to have a look at what's around. My dog is barking, so hopefully I'm I'm hoping you you can't hear him, but he has a very loud bark, and my my door is closed. Yeah, so. nothing more to see here. All right, I think I turn on some music now. Let me just like mess with the audio a little bit, and I'll play my own music a little. Alright, let's make sure the levels are okay. I gotta check. Pug, what games have you been into lately? Because right now, like we're we're entering like a little lull in the period of game development. That's dangerous. We're entering like a little lull in the period of game development, where not really anything is being released besides indie games. I'm kind of curious what everyone's been into lately. Oh god. So we got two right there. Guns can be like OP OP, but I think it seems like these guys are based more on sound than anything. Oh, plague sample. Okay, got your plague sample right here. Red-eyed plague zombies are carriers for the blood plague. Plague zombies gather in highly dangerous areas surrounding plague hearts. Dead plague zombies can drop fleshy samples that are ingredients for the cure. Interesting. Back. My patient is depending on you. Let's go ahead and clear this area. Yeah, that seems to be all the zombies here. Played MHW, Rainbow Six Siege, and a bunch of Minecraft has stopped. Now I play a bunch of GTA 5, heavy, text roleplay. Now I'm trying out Guild Wars 2. I don't know what other games to play though. Might start playing Dark Elf because I got got a gift to me by someone else. It's a really lewd game. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of lewd games out there. It's just kind of weird. I'm gonna leave the car there for right now. Leave the car there. Kind of improve our stamina, maybe. Still having fun with Stardew. Might be practicing some more Hollow Knight. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online gets a new expansion in June. A few of us start a TF2 again. Stardew, in my case, it's nice to watch, but it falls asleep if I were playing it myself. Hey, I'm back. How's my girl going? Either I'm still alive or heaven really sucks. She's holding on, but we don't have much time. Please deposit that sample in the supply locker. We now have enough plague samples to make the cure she needs. We should get on that as soon as possible. Relax, babe. I have the cure in hand. We'll feel better in a sec. Did I hear something about a cure, or was I hallucinating? No, I'm fine, really. Just vomiting blood. Nothing to see here. You're one of us, and you're gonna stay one of us. I'm surprised I lasted this long. I just dropped off some decent scraps at base. There we go, all better. I love Stardew, and to be honest, right, I fell asleep. Ready to get back in the Did it! Oh, we beat the goddamn blood plague. Nice work, people. I'm starting to think there ain't nothing that can stop us. This crew, we're survivors. <laughs> I fell asleep during Stardew plenty of times, but Pipes I just working and the breaker box is connected. Enjoy your water and power, everyone. 
I just love the vibes it gives. Dress the zombie people. threat. First day of school's over, and amazingly, we're still here. But if we're gonna make this town safe for people to live in, we gotta go after the Zeds. Screamers gathered the dead around them like groupies. And I remember seeing one as we came into town. We need to make our home safe, rather than go on hunting expeditions. We can make this place a lot friendlier if we use some building materials. Some Assassin's Creed Valhalla I play a large assortment of games to BH. I finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla lately and <sighs> it kind of feels like an unfinished game to me. Uh and I don't know what really annoys me more. Spiral station. Okay. Let's do that first. We should think about improving our home rather than looking for a fight. Uh, Sonny, if, so you want, nice to see you. if you want to do that, you can you come with us. Keep working. Give me a hand. I'll be right behind you. It's just a cutscene simulator. <laughs> yeah, I did finish uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I would say I 100% completed it, but I didn't because of the stupid fucking uh, rock stacking simulator. Those <sighs> the cairns piss me off because the physics in it is so bad. It's absolutely terrible. And I should know, because I literally do stack cairns. I literally do stack stones and make cairns. I mean, it's been out long enough to finish. I just didn't think My you would've. My mom just got out of surgery, but still took me to go buy things for a school project that was due. She could barely move, but she still took care of me. That's just what you do for family. You take care of each other. Dang. Honestly, as the game goes on, like, the cairns get more impossible to do. Like, they're extremely hard to do. That's an infestation right there. Get in the car and uh... keep an eye on that creeper. Okay, I'm gonna search this place for materials now. Is home improvement really the right priority for us? It is. Building a secure home is always a priority. Okay, that's... There we go. Yeah, the Garens get, like, progressively harder, and it just becomes impossible, because the way they've made it is... I... I don't want anyone to, like, lose their job over it, but I think they should be demoted. If you'd like, I could carry that rucksack for you. It's five resources which you collect as rucksacks. Scavenge for rucksacks and deliver them to your base to stock up on supplies. Resources can be depleted over time or created with gardens and outposts. Understand. Uh, you don't need to do that. Hey, dented can of beer. Probably totally flat, but hell, it's beer. High trade value. Very nice indeed. Let's search this area too. It's empty. Okay. Okay, 
left click for the door thing. Hey, we're back. Getting used to the driving is gonna be a lot harder. Lurk. Thank you for the lurk, Pug. I really do appreciate it, and thank you for stopping by. I missed I missed having you around or talking to you. I feel bad. I return home with the rucksack materials. Our stash of materials is really low. Resource rucksacks are delivered to the storage facility at your base. Weapons, consumables, and other inventory items are kept in your supply locker. You can access the supply locker at home or any outpost you've claimed. Ooh, call it a favor. Thank you. I think that's just what we needed. We can use those materials to start building whenever we're ready. If we built a workshop, we could keep our weapons in good repair. And so far, I like most of the writing a lot more than Odyssey's, but the writing just hasn't been all that good since early Origins. Um... Yeah, the writing's a lot better. I think the story's a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Valhalla than it is in Odyssey, but Odyssey's not really a high bar to cross. When that workshop is done, we'll be able to keep our weapons from falling apart on us. Odyssey was just kind of a unarmed out there. A shit show. Claim I never really liked, I mean, Odyssey was fun, but it was just, it was way, way, way too big. I think that's the problem with a lot of the Assassin's Creed games. Uh. With a lot of the... I'm just kind of like looking and says I'm not like doing too great right now. I'm still running at 60, 60 frames FPS, but it's like, yikes, you know, my might be bad. I hated that the whole forced love story at the end of the Odyssey expansion. I, <laughs> the whole thing about like, what I really hated about Odyssey and it shows because it's like, now it's becoming a, it's a trend, is the whole... They give you an unfinished story. And... All that hard work pays off. If you want the finished story, you gotta pay for the DLC. Which is like the Atlantis stuff or whatever. I hated that. I didn't buy it. I hate it. I'm just like, you know what? Well, screw that. Like, why should I... Why should I play on... If you're gonna release unfinished games... Okay. I'm just wondering if I can nail this shot. That would be great. So that Nailed it. We saw? Yeah, it's in the middle of an infestation. It's a bad idea to just leave him there. Can you handle it? For this crew? Hell yeah. Gayate! Just gotta destroy the infestation now. That's about it. I killed the screamer. And it's kind of the same thing with Valhalla, too, like... The story isn't finished. I don't know how far you are in the game. I don't want to spoil it. Um... Yeah, I don't know how far you are in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Latest Watch Dogs pretty trash? Yeah, it is. 
Infestations are dangerous and they can spread if you don't keep them in check. Infestations are created by screamers who attract other zombies. To remove an infestation, kill the screamers and clear the site of hey, zombies. Amigos, the muertos are history. Nice. Good to hear. While we're here, we'll go ahead and search. Latest watchdogs is pretty trash too. Ice? Oh, Legion, right? I thought you were talking about two. I didn't even like remember that Legion is a thing. <laughs> like, where's the story? I mean, no spoilers. Okay. I'll just. Just wrapping up in East Anglia, which is like the fourth or fifth region you can go. Yeah. Um, I'll just tell you, like, the thing that you, like, you think you're gonna know. You're never gonna learn. You're you're never gonna learn like. You're never gonna learn like. Uh, probably what you really want to know. That's all I'm gonna say. Two was great. Watchdogs two. I don't know. I felt like it was more of a letdown. In comparison, some territory. Go with that. I I say it feels more of like a letdown because I enjoyed, I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, the story of the first game. Oh, there's a zombie in here. That's a cool detail. I loved the story of the first game. I loved the the atmosphere it set. Were there some things wrong with it and it got kind of boring at times? Yes. They should have changed the mini games. Um, but I felt that something that they could have worked on for the sequel. The sequel, like it turned it turned that organization, what was it, like sec uh, not secnav, um but that group of hackers, it just turned them into like this serious organization that had like straight power in society to a group of <laughs> a group of like college kids kind of and I'm just like really that's kind of disappointing Legion you can spoil because I don't plan to pick it back up I don't know anything about Legion I all I know is you can play as a grandma that's about it <laughs> Uh, you can go Take back to care base. Now. Hi there. Adios. I feel like th like this game is just set during the winter months. Cause nights last hella hella long. These guys are like... <laughs> kind of annoying, because they take more hits. Yeah, dead sec. Watch like 2 is better than the first and better than Legion. What? I don't think so. Maybe mechanically it's better, but I don't think in story-wise it's that great. Securing a building. To secure a building, you must explore each marked room in the mini-map. In addition to exploring all the rooms, you must kill the zombies in that location. Once secured, it temporarily becomes a zone where no new zombies appear. <laughs> Dead sec. It's a different branch than the one in the first game. I'm not sure I'm if my last one's around to claim this just yet. This has 
outpost material. They're just like, oh, it's a different branch of the, of the same organization, but it's like... Wouldn't there just be branch wars then, instead of... I enjoyed the first game more because it gave that serious vibe. I... I thought it was okay, like, maybe, like, they could have con continued off without Aiden, okay, but at the same point, you would kind of make this dichotomy of, like, it's a- he's setting, like, a war against DedSec and the hacker community. Hey, people. We got ourselves a steady supply of ammo now. Got a feeling we're gonna need it as we expand our territory. I think your last message went through. If it was the uh, different branch of the uh, of Dead Suck. Check this out. Ooh, that's a hot gun right there. Okay, how can I get around? <laughs> Get you out of the way. There we go. We are literally one follower away from from our goal, and uh, that's pretty exciting. Just need one person. That's all we need. Store that. Store that. Got here first. Now, you may be asking me, Zach, how does one cure a zombie virus if people are already dead? Well, I'll tell you this bullets. Bullets are the cure. <laughs> Bullets are the cure to this illness. No more to see. 45 caliber rounds. Okay, so we secured this area, and we're gonna be getting some a steady supply of ammo now, which is pretty great. Pretty fantastic. Where'd I park the car? It's over there. Okay, no zombies here. We're still running good. Everything's still smooth. Is, is like my internet dying? Maybe I should check just in case. solid right now and pings at 42 but what's important is the upload <laughs> if that's not doing well then yikes we might have a problem upload is okay Seems like we're still chugging along, though. There we are. DedSec wasn't your enemy in the first game. They were more of a necessary evil. Aiden didn't want to blame... Didn't want Bloom to have control and hand it over to a bunch of kids.
Okay, I think we want to go here. In like campgrounds like this, depending on what is that? Depending on who stayed here, there could be like a good amount of stuff. I hear you motherfuckers lurking around. Oh, you bastard! Work. That's what I get for trying to be sneaky. One. Let's just agree Ubisoft's environmental team is on point and they need to fire and rehire a completely new writing team. Um, I wouldn't say a majority of their writing team. I would say maybe some of their writing team needs to be need to find different employment elsewhere. Probably on soap opera channels. Um, and I think what they really need to do is they need to fire like not the development heads but like the business side of it because they're the ones that are like right. just making them release these unfinished pieces of garbage that's what's always caused the problem with video games is the business side of it better than nothing uh, a best case of that would be literally cyberpunk thing was released as an unpieced like unfinished piece of garbage Same with fallout 76 <laughs> that was trash Ubisoft has a lot of problems Because they are that company The company that just like releases unfinished broken games Michael transaction <laughs> micro transactions that's more EA. Oh my back. god, bro. That's not really fair right there. I was stealthy. I, I did this right. <laughs> I did this right. I opened it stealthily and just to get screwed over by a zombie right by the door. Okay. Like CD Projekt Red have a lot of credibility going into this because because of their work with The Witcher 3. But their credibility skydived because of their business department. They're just like, we need this game now. We need to be perfect. Everything yada 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 yada. If you want to, if you want like a, ooh, that's hot stuff right there. Okay. You want an example of like a game that had the same problems as like cyberpunk but managed to patch itself uh up over time no man's sky is a really good representation of that no man's sky like what happened like that was i don't know if anyone remembers but like when that game launched it was utter garbage probably like the hottest garbage anyone had ever seen but the way, the way they fixed that is the head developer, the guy who was like appearing all over TV or whatever, he literally just he had all the emails be forwarded to him. He made, he so that way he would get all the hate mail. And then he would just have his people work and constantly work to try and fix, fix all the bugs, fix, fix the entire game so that way it could be a better game he's not he's not a spokesperson he's 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 a programmer and you know that showed in his interviews he was nervous he was put on the spot he didn't know what the hell he was saying but everything he did say he literally it's running off like a checklist they are implementing all those things
I think Cyberpunk was pushed by whiners not wanting to wait longer. I think they went in with an overambitious dream. Um, they they went in with an ambitious dream, and they set an unrealistic deadline. I think that's the problem with like all these, like when they release trailers for games or whatever. I think that's the problem. You're you're you're. When you s release these trailers and they're like made like movies, you're setting unrealistic hype for your game. And that makes it a lot harder on the programmers and the people who are designing and writing the game. Like, nice have a moment of bro, Keanu Reeves? It's Keanu Reeves. People are gonna eat that up no matter what it is. Wake up, samurai. Like, what? That's great. And they started making all these like unrealistic promises. People weren't mad that they were delaying the game. People just want a polished and finished game. It is here. I've seen it. But the problem is is they kept delaying it. They they kept delaying it. Uh, what do I want? Increase stamina, light encumbrance limit. Uh, I want stealth. They kept increasing the uh, the deadline, and yet when they finally released the game, it was like they had nothing to show for it. It's like, what were you doing for all those months and months and months, almost like a year that you increased the deadline, and yet this game is still pretty much unfinished. And the main problem is, is like, who's who's to blame for that? You know, they promise like, oh, there's no crunch time on this game, or whatever. Loads and loads and loads of crunch time was in the game during development. Um, so it's like, it's not really who's to blame. It's not. It's not like the programmers and the writers' fault. It's literally the business side of these companies, which is killing the video games. It's also killing the movie industry because they want. <laughs> Controversy sells. We all know this. So far, I haven't felt like Valhalla is unfinished. Wait till you get to the end parts of the game or whatever. Earlier in the year, when I was when I was playing it, God, it was there was a lot of bugs and just broken quests that wouldn't work. I'm like, really? This is this is a triple A game? You see indie games with less bugs. Um, I think like what I really disliked the most out of Valhalla was like canonically Eivor is supposedly supposed to be a female. Which I'm okay with, but if it's canonical, why even give the person, like, an option to be male or female? Like, it's, it's at that, 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 it's kind of like the same thing with Odyssey. It's like, Cassandra is supposed to be the choice in Odyssey, so why let people play Alexios? I think the male Eivor should have been canon, and plus the male voice actor was just a hell of a lot better. What's good, amigos? Yo, what a fool! Okay, so it's O. And honestly, though, I think the female voice actress was better, but in Valhalla, it was the male. But the point is, is like, why give people a choice? It just makes their whole experience feel invalid kind of and another problem is like you're not really playing assassin's creed like this is this is literally just you know <laughs> where's the stealth components in it you know you could literally just go into a to a city and just kill everyone there there's no repercussions it's it's not like the assassin's creed game of previously hey out there this is your new neighbor saying hello. If you're listening, we'd like to meet up with you. 
It's a relief to hear another voice. We're in a bit of a bind and could use some help. Can you come by? Ah, you see? We just got here, and we're already making friends. Come on, let's go say hi. Um, what does he want to be? He wants to be a warlord. Oh, no. So he wants to be a warlord. Oh, uh, no. Uh, you want to be a traitor? Oh, my God. It's easier in the console to just be able to like scroll over and see what people Sheriff? I don't I haven't done Sheriff yet. So how do I go to the next person then? E How do I How do I back out of it? Okay, right click. Okay, A and D. Builder. We're done builder, so we don't need to do that. So we have the full thing here. We have traitor, sheriff, warlord, and builder. That's pretty sweet. Which game had broken quests? Stream cut out. Uh, Valhalla. Valhalla did. Valhalla had broken quests in it. It was the one where... And I remember this vividly. It was the one where um, Valka comes from... from Norway to uh, to move in at Ravensthorpe and uh, you just couldn't continue onwards like Valka would reach a point where you're at like the big tree in the middle of Ravensthorpe because um, some people are still sexist but this, that has nothing to do with the game itself there's the problem the problem's not with like you know, it's a female, and so like obviously there could be a problem with like historical accuracies. Yeah, there could be a problem with that. But when you come to a game where it's like it's giving you a choice and then it's telling you, oh yeah, your choice didn't matter. The what's the what's the point of giving them that choice in the first place? Unless it's supposed to be like you know Undertale or whatever, where the whole whole game is on the basis of choices. But this game's not. Like, they've had games, they've had Assassin's Creed games where it was a female character and it did well. It's just, like, they're not executing it right. And I think the the whole point of, like, blaming it on, oh, it's because people are sexist. I think that's wrong. Yes, of course there are people who are, who are still out there that are sexist, but, like, majority of people who receive video games are not. Are not like that. Uh, I should probably put this away in here. And to say that is kind of just like, you know. Things are working out. I feel good. Uh, not really demeaning, but. Okay, now I'm going to switch to. Since Black Flag stuff has been optional most of the time, yeah. Uh, Ella wanted to be sheriff. Yeah, let's do sheriff. She doesn't have a gun. Okay. Like, the whole basis of Assassin's Creed is that you're an assassin. What do assassins do? They're stealthy. They don't just go into towns and just, like, absolutely wreck shit. 
because then they're not assassins. They're just mercenaries. And while under under Odyssey and Odyssey and um, Valhalla, that works because in Valhalla you you are a Viking, and in Odyssey you are a mercenary. And the assassins didn't exist during Odyssey. It doesn't make sense in Origins. Origins is in like a weird place because you're you're a medjai, but still, you're not supposed to be like fighting people out in the open. Considering Bayek's also like the founder of it. They need to go back to their roots. Okay, we're going there. Like, I feel like Assassin's Creed's having an identity crisis, and it's just... You need to go back to your roots. You need to make a more stealth-centric game. Stealth-centric, story-driven game. She busted out the boomstick. You got this. There have been several games where it's shown, like not even, not even in like Assassin's Creed franchise, but there have been several games. Holy shit! There have been several games where there have been strong female protagonists. Hell, the whole Tomb Raider series exists, you know? So th to say that like, oh, it's because people are sexist. No, it's not because of that. That female of Rebellion for Vita and Syndicate, which you played twins. I tell you, it's that new plague heart growing nearby. Yes, and if you looked at Rebellion, people thoroughly enjoy the EV. Eevee missions more than the Jacob Fry ones because the Jacob Fry ones were repetitive. And both had strong personalities and that was executed well. But just saying it's because people are sexist, that's the whole disservice to the whole gaming community. Does that mean I'm sexist? Does that mean you're sexist? No. A lot of times there there are historical inaccuracies that like just simply do not work. But women assassins have existed in literally any form of sense of the word for many, many years. Might be useful. Emphasis on might. It's just finding that right balance between them literally shoving it down your throat or giving you a choice and saying that your choice doesn't matter. That's the problem that I find, you know? They need to go back to Revelations. Okay, time to put this place behind us. Um, I don't know about Revel- maybe Revelations. Yeah, they need to go back to that formula. Black Flag Black Flag is a really great Assassin's Creed game for what it is. It had stealth elements in it and it also allowed you to do like, you know, pirate stuff, which is great. And I felt like Valhalla tried to recapture that glory, but it's just I'm sorry to ask a favor so soon, almost missing the mark. Spoiled. Do you have any extra? We'd really appreciate that. So they want food. It turns out that our friendly neighbors are out of food. We could pull some from our storage. We have enough to share. Gardening. Or we could go out and scavenge for it instead. Uh, black flag stuff is an optional most of the time. I totally agree that they need to go back to that. Uh, 
I just think the argument of like, oh, you know, they're not, they're not doing it because people are sexist. It's just a disservice. They're, the gaming industry has been around for a very, very long time, and we've had plenty of, plenty of games that had strong female characters that are just like done really, really well. The whole tomb, like as I stated earlier, the whole Tomb Raider series is Laura Croft, great character. Good there, but you don't hear anyone complaining. Like maybe there should be a a male a male lead character in Tomb Raider. You don't hear that. Yeah, why is it only like when females are brought up that it becomes an idea of around sexism and such? Assassin's Creed prides itself on historical accuracy. Of course, <laughs> there's a lot of historical inaccuracies within that game, but uh, within the games themselves, but you know, it's something to to just ignore over. Like, I thought with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, they, they could have given you the... They could have just straight out told you that, you know, the the, the main character was female. That'd be fine, everything like that, right? Told you straight out from the beginning, the, char the main character is going to be female. No one would have a problem with it. But the fact that they, they gave you all the trailers and the box art and everything is directed towards the main character being male and then they tell you that oh the main character is canonically female that's where the problem lies it's just honestly being like almost dishonest wow stream is jumping all over the place so sexism maybe was the wrong word choice the stream might be jumping all over the place because of i don't i don't know if it's my internet it actually seems to be doing well right now Still running at 60 frames per second. I might have to, I might have to like look back and see what's going on. I don't think my upload's doing too great right now. Yeah, just just refresh the stream. Uh, if if there's like a massive delay or anything, just refresh the stream. That's that's all I can really say. Um. But yes, I don't think sexism was the correct word to use. I don't think, maybe like, not hostilities, but I think like, a lot of people, um... My main problem with Valhalla is the fact, it's the same thing with Odyssey. Valhalla and Odyssey, what I had a problem with them in terms of the character choices, was like, they gave you this option and they made it seem like the male character was the main character. But then they, they kind of like secretly, because of all the box art, the trailers, you know, uh, and just the basis of history behind it, it makes you think, oh yeah, well, it's gonna be the, it's gonna be the guy character. But if they just told you straight out that the, the female character was the main character, nobody would have a problem with it. But it's the fact that they're like telling you after you get the game or whatever, even the same game that still has the guy on the main, the main box art, it's like, well, who the hell am I supposed to believe? Like, if you just came and straight out said it's a female character, no one would have a problem with it. Like, it's not unbelievable. It's not unbelievable. Like, it's not, it's, like, people can't really complain about the historical inaccuracy of it because female assassins are a very real thing. They're called honeypots. Like, ones that use their charm and wit. neighbors from starving so Valhalla yeah Valhalla is confusing because it tells you to do both and that just kind of makes no sense if they just told you that it's female that would make much more sense like I played through the game the entire time not knowing that canonically Eivor is supposed to be female Let's hit the road. We're done here. I only learned about that after I like finished the game and I looked it up on the internet and I saw some <laughs> some shitter 
literally tell, just say, Eivor is cano canonically female. Like, I'm like, what? And just made me feel like the, the character that I had spent the entire game, like, almost fostering, like, a relationship with, as felt, like, invalid, like, didn't matter. Which is the main problem with it. The whole marketing and advertising around it, if you just came out and straight up said that the main character is female, no one would have a problem with it. I'd still buy the game, I'd still play it. I'd be interested to see what happens. If we can't find more food soon, thanks. You really came through for us. I guess we owe you one. You're welcome. I'm not dissuading that the... I'm not dissuading the fact of, like, female Vikings. I know there are female Vikings. I've done plenty of research into Viking lore. I've got Viking ancestors. I'm talking... I'm not talking about the historical fact of it. I'm more talking about... Well, there's also a problem. I don't know how far you were in the game. Uh... Have you met Folke yet? Frontiers inhabited by many small enclaves and human survivors. If you are helpful, they can become allies, trading partners, or recruits. Ignore or betray them, and they may become dangerous. Become dangerous hostiles. Yikes. Playing female simply because I don't like the male, and I typically always play female. But making connections like that, I think it's how we rebuild the world. I don't want to spoil it, because I don't know if you met this character yet, but there is there is a very large historical inaccuracy within within that game. Um, it's not it's not on the uh, not arguing I was agreeing, yeah, yeah. There are plenty of instances of of. Uh, female vikings which is what makes what make can make the female Eivor more believable but it's just the fact that they were pushing the the male character in your face the entire time and then telling you like secretly behind your back oh yeah the your experiences with the male Eivor who had superb superb voice acting I'm, I'm gonna say that I love the voice acting of male Eivor over female Eivor Right, you know. Trust me, those plague zeds are no joke. Having strong allies by our side could really help us here. Making friends is a smart move. They could have good stuff to trade. I like our neighbor just fine, but we shouldn't count on outsiders. If we build the tools we need ourselves, we won't have to rely on other people for help. Go away, Screamer. No. The crazed brother with the shave head? No. Fulke. F-U-L-K-E. Crazed brother with the shaved head. Fulke is a female character of significant importance to the Assassin's Creed Valhalla story. Uh, and is also a pretty big... Uh, Uh, a historical inaccuracy that kind of bothers me. Uh... Let's just say, like, because she's supposed to represent... Uh, she's part of like the Christian order, right? And she's labeled as like a paladin or whatever. But at that time in history, women, 
especially within England, were not able to ever get a position like that. The most they were able to get was like a nun position or mother superior, not something like a knight or... Stream delay is weird today. Refreshing doesn't help. Really? Oh. Might be because of the game I'm playing. I don't know. I wonder if it's ESO. I'm I'm hoping it's not me. It, it very well could be, but I'm hoping it's not. We don't know for sure if plague sets are created by the heart or just attracted to it. But if we leave this one alone, it's only a matter of time before one of us catches blood plague. Preaching to the choir, sister. Okay, how many pipe bombs do I have? I have two. I have two pipe bombs. Uh, do, do, do. I want to make a garden. The explosives we wanted are ready to use. <laughs> that plague heart is totally fucked. She's optimistic, not me. No quiero estar aquí. You be almost there by now. You can tell you're close by the red haze in the air. I hear you. Test, test. Hello. Test, test, you're coming in live. What a wonderful smell we've discovered. It's locked. Figures. That was noisy. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> God, I am so sick of plague zombies. <laughs> What was the problem? Was it me? I'm sorry, I'll be better. She's optimistic about me. No quiero estar aquí. Alright, where are the other zombies in here? Oh. Come on up, buddies. There we go. Alright, I gotta find a way to like... There we go. I think ESO is using a lot of bandwidth. Oh, that makes sense. MMORPGs do that. These horrible flesh mounds seem to be the focal points for the blood plague. The area around them usually teams with plague zombies. Best way to take out a plague heart is with explosives or fire. 
Hell yeah. A plus work there. Ooh, a nightstick. Shoddy. Got ourselves a shotgun. That's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Uh, combat knife. Go ahead and put a majority of this in the car. But yeah, my whole problem with the Assassin's Creed, well not franchise, but like, the whole female versus male thing is like, the marketing around it. If it's gonna be a female character, then just make it a female character. Have the trailers be the female character. Don't make it a male character. Don't give us that choice. It sucks that we can't enjoy these quiet moments anymore. But no, I don't think I've met the character you're referring to. I tend to do all the collecting and exploring. Same. Boring. Yeah, I will say. I love you, but you're being a jerk. We need their help. In fact, I say we make it official and join our groups together. They seem like nice folks, but let's slow down a bit. How about we just stay friendly trading partners? I think it's only polite to ask our neighbors what they want. We can't make the choice for them. All right, chat with Payne about working together. I'm serious about that offer to join you here. Um, you're kind of blank, Roto. Mechanics, that's pretty I'm boss. serious about that offer to join you here. Good call. 
I think this will work out well. It looks like you're a bit short on bunks, though. It's really no big deal. We can handle it. I told you it was a shithole, right? I'm sure we can find a nicer place before too long. Maybe nobody wants to hear this, but we have to get organized. If we keep making things up as we go, sooner or later it's gonna bite us in the ass. I gotta pick somebody to be in charge. Each survivor's personality determines what type of leader they can become. The four leader types each unlock their own unique facilities and missions. Try Sheriff, Warlord, Builder, and Trader leaders to learn what they offer. I'm not even nice. sure I want the job, but I do know what I'd do if I had it. Duo sloop? Oh, Sea of Thieves? As a town sheriff, I'd make sure everybody around here is working together and getting along. I'd be down. I would have to... I don't have it on my computer anymore. I deleted it off my computer so I could have State of Decay 2. But I could play it on my console because it's cross-platform. So I'd be down for that. Sheriff believes in defending everyone in the town and takes risks to help others. They do not tolerate raiders or thieves and will fight them if necessary. They can build a field hospital and a more advanced lounge and shooting range. Cool. Talk to Sonny about being a builder, Sloan, Trader, Brewski, Warlord. They've updated their tutorial I think section. What we need is a safe, methodical approach to survival. If I were our leader, I'd be a builder and make sure we didn't depend on anyone but us. A builder believes in security and absolute self-reliance. They aspire to be able to provide for a large and prosperous community. They can construct a sniper tower plus an advanced generator and barracks. Nice. Nobody survives out here alone, right? You gotta reach out and make friends. Yo, I'm great at making friends. Put me in charge as your trader, and we'll be set. The trader believes in trust and generosity, even in the apocalypse. They aspire to create a network of friendly enclaves that support one another. They can construct a trade depot, an advanced still, and the biggest farm. No, it's cramped as fuck in here. The world's always been full of bad people, and it's gotten worse. We gotta be serious about surviving at any cost. Is our warlord can do that for us. A warlord trusts and values the people in their own community over all others. They believe that only those with strength and value to the team earn survival. They can build an armory, plus a more advanced barracks and fighting gym. Who should be? to get them the lead I have to have them like be high ranking and none of them are at are able to do that right now so got to do some more reading and stuff but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop stream right right now uh, I'm gonna have dinner soon kind of out of the games out of games with campaigns to play that I haven't already played. Yeah, I'd, have, I'd probably go on like stores and look at uh, what's on sale. I'd give like the Final Fantasy games a shot. Anyways, I've been streaming for almost two hours now. Um, I will be streaming later today. But it is almost dinner time. So if you're around, hit me up on Discord. I will. Uh, I will be streaming afterwards at my usual time of 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's just, it's almost dinner time. <laughs> so two streams in one day. That'd be pretty impressive, but I'm going to do a raid. Raid on good buddy and also another VTuber. He did his re-debut of his, his uh, 3D model yesterday. And I think he deserves uh, some support, you know? He's streaming some StarCraft right now. So, yeah. If you go in, when you, if you're raiding, just kind of like type. Uh, I 
I like to call him Ballroom Bruce Wayne. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. When we raid, just if you could go ahead and just call him that, that'd be great. But uh, I will be back later tonight, and thanks to everyone who uh, joined this little impromptu stream. And uh, I'll see you later tonight. I have to fight three different commanders at once. So I have to figure out a wave that counters all three of you simultaneously. Hey, Zach Shadows, uh, coming in with a raid of this, four. Like, we can fight off a million infested civilians. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Dang, imagine getting raided. Couldn't be me. What, you never been raided before? Play, uh, last week's weekly brawl was triple auras. So my infested civilians... <laughs> They spawn three at a time. So if he had uh, ten infested civilians, I had to fight thirty. At a time. How's my favorite ballroom, Bruce Wayne? You know I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Right, what did that even? <laughs> ballroom so Bruce Wayne. in this one, you don't really control units, do you? No. You just place them. Okay. Yeah, you just place them. Oh boy. Are you guys ready? Making a random did reference, yeah, yeah. huh? Go for it. So just, so, just telling you now, your main command thing is at the bottom right hand. The red thing is your units, the green thing is your upgrades, and then you get a, a simulator that makes you money. They take 10 minutes to pay for themselves, so don't get them unless you're in a good position and you think you can last for another 10 minutes because you'll be I've at a middle of the mode, so uh, let's see. Thanks for the let's posture see. and, uh, and uh, hydrate check wonder what this week's weekly brawl is i swear if it's triple aura again i'm gonna right. laugh i'll have to think I, of some I tried uh to redeem make a random reference but it didn't yep. go through no it shows that you redeemed it twice oh yeah, <laughs> i'm sorry i was like I oh meant redeem, i meant to redeem yeah. it once but then like i didn't see the notification in chat so i redeemed it again thinking i misclicked 